a bench of Justice S. Ravinder Butt and Justice A.K. Chala said they will deliver order on the plea on September 10th. Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi The Delhi High Court on Thursday reserved the order on Congress President Rahul Gandhi and his mother Sonia Gandhi's plea challenging the income tax notice seeking tax reassessment for the financial year 2011-2012. A bench of Justice S. Ravinder Bhatt and Justice A.K. Chala said they will deliver order on the plea on September 10th. The court was hearing the plea of Rahul, Sonia Gandhi and her party colleague Oscar Fernandez against March IT notice seeking tax reassessment as they have allegedly not disclosing their income earned through Young Indian Private Limited e, in the year 2011-2012. Additional Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, who is representing the IT department, has told the court that they have concealed facts for evading tax. Meta said the department has reopened the tax assessment against Rahul Gandhi as he has furnished false information that he is not a director of any company, including Young Indian. Sonia Gandhi on Tuesday told the Delhi High Court that the Income Tax Department had malafide intention in sending the reassessment notice. Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi are major stakeholders in Young Indian which has acquired Associated Journals Limited AJL. National Herald newspaper was published by AJL. Earlier in March, Young Indian requested the court to stay the recovery of tax and interest of 249.15 crore rupees raised in pursuance to a December 27, 2017 notice issued under Section 156 of the IT Act for the assessment year 2011-12. The company has submitted that it is a charitable firm and does not have any income and that income tax authorities have wrongly raised a demand of 249 crore rupees for the assessment year 2011-12. On March 19, the Delhi High Court directed Young India to deposit 10 crore rupees in the 249.15 crore rupees income tax proceedings against the firm. Bharatiya Janata Party leader Subramani and Swami had filed a complaint of cheating in the acquisition of AJL. Swami had accused them of allegedly conspiring to cheat and misappropriate funds by paying only 50 lakh rupees, by which Young Indian Private Limited obtained the right to recover 90.25 crore rupees which AJ owed to the Congress. The other accused in the case are Mudal Alvora, Suman Dubi, Sam Petroda and Young India. Catch up on all the latest crime, national, international and hacky news here. Also download the new midday Android and iOS apps to get latest updates. This story has been sourced from a third-party syndicated feed, agencies. Midday accepts no responsibility or liability for its dependability, trustworthiness, reliability and data of the text. Midday management slash mid-day.com reserves the sole right to alter, delete or remove without notice the content in its absolute discretion for any reason whatsoever.